Hey guys, this is Nathan from No Bueno Games bringing you part 3 of Watch Dogs. Now at the end of the last episode, Jordy called me and told me that he had a job for me and is set up for this mission right here, so let's go ahead and get that started. What? What the hell, little fixer? I made too much noise in the loop. This guy's found me. Well, now I better find him. Jordy's job will have to wait. I actually completely forgot about this, guys. This is the multiplayer playthrough, it looks like. I might decide to just skip this, because it's kind of pointless. So I might just see you back whenever we get back to that mission. Alright, now I can deal with Jordy's job. Some kind of driving contract, delivering a guy somewhere. This won't be a typical taxi service. The trick with these jobs is avoiding the cops. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry for that. I had no idea that was about to happen. Let's go ahead and get this mission started. <laughs> oh, looks like a good guy. Now basically the reason I don't really want to take the time to show you guys the online is that because I don't personally think it's that great. I mean it's it's fun for like a day. But it's very repetitive and it, I don't I just I just think it's annoying. And if I go into it, people are gonna start invading while I'm recording and it's just a big old laundry list of stuff I don't want to deal with. So basically the mission we're doing right now is we are going to pick up a guy. Oh no, I'm gonna... Uh, I gotta get to this guy undetected right now. But once I get to him, I've gotta get him out of whatever trouble he's in without getting caught by the cops. Oop. See, they've, they've cut off all the traffic because they're looking for this one dude. I'm not, I don't really remember what he did, I think they'll tell us. But, we gotta make it there first. So, let's go around. I believe he's back here. There we go. Oh. Come on, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. There we go. Made it. I hope you have an invitation or you're dead. I'm the driver. You got a car, this thing's shot to hell. No. Nope. My rule's your car. That's the job. All right, well, come on, then. Let's go. Okay. So, our champion in the back seat here has gotten us into some sort of trouble. And we need to get out of here with him, because he's paying us. Or, well, we're doing it for Jordy to take care of Maurice, so. Pretty straightforward and easy, this one. Do, do, do. Uh oh. What's that cop gonna do? I'm gonna cut through here. Cause that cop was gonna be a jerk. Talk to me. You need to calm down. You got the alley locked up. There we go. Stick to the back alleys. Garages. Easy, easy. Keep out of sight. If you see me kill the engine and cut the lights, you keep quiet. Oh fuck, man! They said you were good. You did it. So they're not usually that easy, it's just the first one, obviously. But later in the game, there's more missions like that, obviously. And it just, it's so difficult. I'll probably have to edit like six six cuts out, because it'll take me so many tries. That one actually took me two tries the first time I did it, so I'm surprised. What the fuck? That's Lucky Quinn. 
Why is the club boss meeting us? He's not meeting us. Meaning you. Someone knew. I swear, I don't know what happened. There wasn't supposed to be anybody. I, I mean, it's a computer plant, right? I turn around, the alarm's going off. The cops got there so fast. <laughs> I need... Shh. I'm quiet now. It's all over, son. I got it, at least, right? That's what matters. It is indeed what matters most. This is how the world turns. Not much room for fuck-ups. Oh, oh, I get that, Mr. Quinn. I do. It wasn't my fuck-up, though. Yeah, it wasn't. Carol, calm now. It's all right. Calm? Get a chance to talk to your mama? Call your friends? Your girl? No, sir. I was in a hurry. That's good. Very good. Tell your employer I'll call again. If ever I need a, another delivery. And that's our first encounter with Lucky Quinn, the club boss. Lucky Pretty evil, because made Chicago's that whole mission. Oh, well, one second. These assholes have been preying on Chicago since before I was born. I could have done the city a huge favor if I put one between his eyes. And this is exactly what I've been trying to stay away from. It always comes back hard. That can't happen again. Hey, how'd it go? You finished that job yet? You thought I'd be okay working for the fucking club? A paycheck is a paycheck. You gotta start separating the morals from the moolah. Relax. Listen, I can hook you up with my guy. He'll find you better driving gigs if you want. Yeah, sure. I don't know if I'll take them. Give him my name. Who says no to extra cash, right? Oh, and since you asked, Maurice is doing just fine in his new home. Yep. Anyway, that basically describes who Lucky Quinn is. But he's basically an evil mob boss. That's the most frank description I can give him. One thing, and honestly one of the only things I see wrong with this game, is that there's bikes everywhere. But you never see anyone else but me riding them. Should I look for a guy in a mask? No mask. Just follow my signal. I thought you never wanted to meet. I don't. But we need to meet. Alright, so we are going our way to meet Bad Boy. Wow. Nah. Ain't got time for no crimes. I'm recording. bad boy before and he's always protected his identity that's how dead sec works now he wants to meet that's unusual all right i'm gonna try and shake him off his game let's see what he's up to okay here we go bad boy what? <laughs> Bad boy, 17. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Bad boy, 
17. Clara. Clara. You don't look 17. <sighs> Do I look like a bad boy? No, you look like a wild card. I hope I don't frighten you. What, do you have a reason to frighten me? Now you're being paranoid. Am I? Someone is fucking with my life. Threatening my family, and at the same moment, the mysterious bad boy wants to meet me, and he is a she. He is a lie. Listen. I need to trust you, Clara. <sighs> I wouldn't trust me if I were you. But here's a reason to listen. The text message you sent me? I know where to find him. Yeah, and well, we don't need to meet face to face for that. No. We needed a face to face for this. You wanted that sex max? You got me in. You should be nicer to me. I'm about to open your world. Yeah. Well, you're not the first woman to promise me that. Mm. Mm -mm. Damn. They do all their nasty work through this. And they don't know I have access. Well, you stole it. <laughs> this is powerful. Just don't be stupid. You screw around and you get the worst. Worst. Hmm. Well, I don't think you trust me. Give me a reason to trust you. All right. The guy sent the text. How do we find him? We work together. You with everything I just sent. Me tracking his signal. You're not quite what I expected. And you're exactly as I expected, Aiden. <sighs> yep. I got a skill point for that, so that's... Yeah. I figure this is as good as time as any to go over the skill tree. So, basically what I'm working towards, since I unlocked some new ones here. What I really want is this, the Enforced Takedown. That's what I learned my first playthrough. I learned that that's what I needed, because it would, it would help me out a lot. But, I don't really need that right now, as we're not that far in the game. I'm going to get Stealth Sprint. And I've already gotten Steady Aim, which, helping, which helps with the recoil. And Focus. Focus is when I slow down time, like that little clip down there. It's basically what I use whenever I'm clearing out a base or anything like that. Uh, and then there's Crafted Items, so I can get more. I've already gotten where I can craft a Frag Grenade, a Lure, which was shown in the first video that was given to me. And then Jam Comms. And a frag grenade's a frag grenade, obviously, and I can upgrade that to IED, which a frag grenade is just like a timed explosive. I throw it and it blows up in like four seconds, something like that. And then IED, I can just throw it down, wait for someone to walk over it, and blow it up with my phone. I can use, I can get a blackout. I've got three points left, so. All right, I could get a focus boost, but I, I don't really need that. I, I don't, because it doesn't really boost it. It just gives me. The ability to make pills to boost it. Um, then there's hackable stuff also, where you can hack bridges. You can pretty much just hack bigger stuff. Blockers are good. Um, I'm gonna get the ATM hack boost, so I can get some money. All right. Well, there's a skill tree. Hey. Am I talking to Bad Boy or Clara? That's making it easy. Voila. So we need to track your caller. But he's sneaky. He's bounced his address through a CTOS office tower. Client services, employees, and executives. Things like that. An office tower? We need to find a way into the system. You get me in, I get you his location. I can get into the building where they're most vulnerable. Check out where they take deliveries. Looks like underground. In the tunnel. I'll start there. Hey, I'm sorry I was rough before. I know what you were doing, trying to intimidate me. 
very textbook. Stepping into my personal space, the stare, physical contact. You are trying to look for cracks. So did you find any? When you love to know. Cut off the witnesses. Drop him. But now, let's get over here on the side. And open the door. Well, I can't open the door. There we go. Let them find the body. So whenever I slow down time right there, that is me using focus. Just like right here. Boom. It actually makes everything a whole lot easier. Oh, I did not set off that car alarm. Let's move forward. Let's take him out. Suspicious object sighted. Going to investigate. Boom. Okay. That's pretty much how the game works. You just have to pick off everyone one by one. Try not to let them know you're there and call for backup. Moving cover to cover to move towards your objective. Oh. Door is locked. Gotta follow the line. Pop that. Let's go in. Da, da, da. I'm in the building. You can see what's ahead. Here we go. The layout shows oh. a wide open indoor plaza. More guards, no doubt. Oh, those hacks I uploaded to your phone? <laughs> it's a perfect distraction. You can disrupt the equipment of any guard in there. Equipment like what? Anything. Hack their phones, earpieces, explosives. Everything runs off computer chips these days. Okay, I'll mm. try it. Can you scan me the offices? Find me someone with an unsecured laptop. Got one. Bradley Coughlin. Oh, oh no. <laughs> He's a security director. Of course he is. Once I hack in, you move fast. Track her collar and get out. It won't take long for security to spot the intrusion. Don't worry about me. Okay. So, I've got to find the guy with the access code. So I'm gonna go back down to, I'm gonna go back down to me. There's an audio log, I'll get that. Da -da 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 -da. Pretty much have to profile people. I can distract them so they, I'll say their phone goes off. They gotta check it. Come on. Oh gosh, that was close. Sometimes the camera angle does get in your way like that. But 99.9% .9 of the time, it's pretty easy. You just move through these. Oh gosh. So now we got some guards. We think they're pretty sly up here. Sorry if I talk, I gotta focus. Ah, uh, you're running around. Oh god. What do we got here? Got a new gun? Give it to me. Gotta take out this guy. Oh, hell no. On my house. Alright, let's get the code. Oh, it's up there. Let's run around. I love missions like this. Where it's just easy peasy pick off guys after guys. Uh, Alright, let's hack it. 
Usually when you act those, yep, there's puzzles. And you have to make every arrow blue to unlock that one. And that way I can do that. There we go. And that brings me to another one. Dun, dun, dun. Hmm. Oh, that's simple. No. Uh, there we go. And now I have to hack his laptop. I'm telling you, yep. it's not just an ad. It blocks my entire view. Just one enormous fucking oh shit. Someone's hacked in. Oh fuck me. Lock down the building. Find him now. Wrecked. <laughs> okay, I got All right, it. Yeah, so they're coming you for me now. Searching now. Oh, they're coming for me. It's pretty much how the game goes. Pop up, use focus. Dome rock them. Or brain prey. Because one looks better. And you just move through cover. You can't really do anything. See, they'll keep shooting where you were. They're not very smart. I forget if I can run out the door or not. Oh, I can. Okay. The cops are scared. Can't get clear fast enough. Uh, Is Dead no way to jam their scans? Wait. I think we do. Here it is. I'm sending it to you. So this is what jams comms are used for. When the police are scanning, throw on a jams comm, use it, and you can get away. Their comms are jammed, and they can't locate you. And you just get out of the search area, and you can just keep using them. As long as you got the stuff to make them, you can use them all day. I think after I clear this, once your percentage down there in the bottom right gets to zero, I think you've won, or you've escaped successfully. Not 100% on that. There's some missions where it doesn't matter how, how much you escape. But I believe that's all. Oh, they're still looking. There we go. Just like that. Okay, guys. We're gonna get a phone call here. Yep. Alright, so we got another skill point. Can't really do anything yet. I'll just save it and use it for something else. How are we looking? You find my caller? Tired of this cat and mouse. I got your mouse. This call was made from an apartment in the loop. Finally. Just be careful, Aiden. The way he bounced the signal around, I think he wants you to find him. Well, I certainly don't want to disappoint him. Okay, guys, and with that, I'm going to end this episode. Please like and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more and you want to be the first to be updated when the next video comes out. Uh, please favor the video and throw a comment down below if you have any suggestions or you want me to do anything else, like if you want me to try the online stuff. Um, I think that's it, guys. Have a wonderful day.